So here on the right we have an Aladdin operating in the uh, normal Aladdin way. And if we pan to the left we have... Ooh, look at this! Wow! We have an electrified Aladdin, but unlike a lot of the electrified Aladdins you'll see in antique malls and other places, this one here has not been cobbled together. But we are using an actual Aladdin electric burner. And it's not focusing. Oh well. Anyway, yes, an actual Aladdin electric burner. And this one here is made uh, with the um, lamp, um, little 7 watt nightlight lamp that hangs down in the base so that you get a very lovely, uh, let me turn this down over here, you get a very lovely nightlight effect used with your um, opal. Uh, milk glass uh, Aladdin fonts. Um, norm, I've I've uh, sort of contrived this video a little bit. Normally, this electric burner here lives on this other um, Washington drape font that uh, sits on an end table in my living room, but um, it looks much better with. Um, I'm trying to see the uh, mantle here on this other lamp. It looks much better on uh, on this lamp for uh, the purposes of making this video so that's where I've got it for now and uh, I've got a old um, chimney here that's got a crack in it so it wouldn't be suitable for use um, on a uh, lamp that's burned but the nice thing about this burner is, and these burners were made uh, by Aladdin, I've only seen them for the uh, side draft lamps, and that is the lamps that do not have the center draft tube like the metal font lamps do. Um, but this, just, this is just a totally self-contained uh, assembly that you drain all the kerosene out of the font and, and clean it out. And then unscrew the burners. Just screw in and off. And this is the this is the burner that normally lives on this lamp. Since I restored this lamp, I've never actually used it. It's just a display piece. And there's the um, um, chimney and mantle and gallery that um, live on this burner normally. I've never, um, I could say, I never, I've never used, used these after I, uh, restored it. This thing was pretty nasty. I got it from a friend, uh, it belonged to his, um, former mother-in-law, and, uh, the thing was pretty derelict. I think she'd had, um, green or blue colored water in it at one time, or something. Everything was, was pretty bad the um, uh, fuel filler cap I had to totally redo it um, where you take this off here to put the kerosene in it this right here was totally rotten away so I had to get some uh, Sorensen cement and uh, a, uh, a new collar and cap and uh, redo that. And then the um, this collar here, if I was to unscrew this burner, you'd see there's some a few places where it's damaged, but um, it's still functional. I said it it's, it's had water in it. The um, burner cleaned up real nice. I had to. Um, do the old trick of putting it in the um, in boiling water to um, 
get all the uh, dried up kerosene softened up to get it to come apart and then I soaked it and cleaned it in simple green and it um, cleaned up real nice as you can see it looks almost like it's brand new again so I didn't do anything with the gallery I'm not sure that this is the correct gallery it's a brass gallery instead of a um, nickel gallery but it's the one that came with the lamp so it looks decent this is what collectors refer to as the Corinthian lamp these were made in the I said the mid 30s like 36 and 37 or 35 or 36 somewhere in the um, metal Aladdin in the era of the metal Aladdin lamps Aladdin uh, came out with a new model number lamp every couple years or so even though there weren't really a whole lot of changes from lamp to lamp in most years um, but when they introduced the um, side draft burners which these this is a this is an example of a side draft burner they um, allowed them to uh, start making the fonts out of glass and they started coming out with um, instead of a whole new lamp every year they could just keep using the same burner and uh, come up with a different uh, glass font for each selling season and that's why there are so many um, different styles and that's why sometimes they're hard to find because they may have only uh, made a particular style for one season and then um, like the Washington drapes ended up being the last style of um, of glass lamps that Aladdin made before they stopped making uh, lamps in the United States in the 50s so that's why you see so many of them uh, but most of these other designs are a little bit less common because it was a uh, one year only thing and I'm sure and it was it was a sales gimmick to uh, to get people to come in and, and buy lamps it promoted promoted sales uh, kept something new in front of the public every year and uh, stimulated interest and uh, really pretty neat though I wish there was a way to get some light down here this is actually cobalt blue it's not black uh, it's very attractive so and of course just like I've said and this has got a uh, LED bulb in it yeah oh man way too bright that's why you gotta have Let's scoot this over a little bit Let's scoot this over a little bit well, you gotta have a shade on these things. Yep, just like when you're using the uh, mantle, it's not fun to stare at a light bulb, so uh, it's nice to have a, um, a shade. And then, with one of these burners, you have not ruined the ability to run the lamp on kerosene. If power goes out, you simply unscrew this burner, screw in the actual burner that really is a burner in there, fill it up with kerosene, put your... Um, mantle and gallery and chimney assembly back on there you've got to burn off the blue dope first and you're in business you've got light again so very nifty item to have is the Aladdin uh, electric burner it um, will uh, keep the lights on whether you've got power or not and uh, allows you to enjoy using one of these year round and uh like I said those look just like a um, looking just looks like an electric fixture except they've got the chimney sticking up and then when you've got one of these you can keep a chimney on there and then you really do have an electric light with a um with a chimney and um as far as the brightness goes, I don't normally run these things at full brightness. I usually don't have to. 
but that's a 60 watt equivalent uh, LED bulb and it's sitting side by side with that I know this camera is making them look pretty equal but the light output on that is closer to what I would say would be like a 40 watt bulb I mean you can turn it up I had the wick real evenly trimmed and everything I could turn it up maybe to full brightness and it's got one of the old style mantles in it so it would actually do it it would um you just gotta kind of watch these if you run them very high uh, because they might see we already got a little flame sticking out the side there and a black spot developing so we're gonna back it off just a bit um, you see the little black spot there so that is the only downside but like I said that little uh, Flame spike is a spot on the wick that needs to be trimmed, that needs to be gone over with the uh, wick cleaner to uh, even it out. And if you keep the wick evened out correctly, you should be able to turn that up and not get any smoking or soot spots on the mantle. It should be able to operate and you can get full output. But honestly, you really don't need the full output. I mean, this is pretty bright, but this is more than adequate. I mean, it's very easy to read by. I could sit here on the workbench and, and work on, you know, a, um, a, on a timepiece or something quite easily with the amount of light that this thing is putting out. So, um, it operates quite nicely. And then I'm not uh, tied to an umbilical cord either pick that up and carry it into another room and use it but I really don't need to I've got several of these in every room so um, at this time of the year if you lose power you're gonna want to use them for um, for heat not just the light but the heat um, kerosene consumption uh, these burn what is it? One one quart. These are one quart font. One quart of kerosene will give you about 12 hours of burning time. So you can use that to figure out how much um, you would use. So you got to figure um, four hours a night. Let's say you ran one of these. If you were using this for uh, lighting, you would... Uh, have to refill it every uh, three days and um, they do give off quite a bit of light like I said that's that's quite a bit of light right there that's enough to uh, to read to do whatever uh, comfortably and uh, there's no no power wire there. So anyway, all right. Well, thank you for watching. I'm starting to ramble on a little bit. So that's my uh, top tip for you. Um, don't be afraid of an Aladdin lamp because they're uh, kerosene only. You get one of these burners and you don't have to drill holes for power cords or ruin the ability of the of it to be used as a, uh, as a kerosene operated lamp in an emergency during a power cut you can um, you know the burners just unscrew and you, you can swap them out fairly easy just keep an extra chimney and gallery on hand so that you can stick a caboose shade on there like this and um, and uh, run it like I said normally this burner and and that normally live on this lamp and this burner and shade normally live on that font there, but this looks a lot more interesting for a, a video. So, all right. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, catch you next time, huh?